Hey, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about scroll saw pattern prep. If that doesn't sound interesting, uh, it, it was in the description. I don't know what to tell you. But if that is what you're looking for, let me show you what I got. Now the old method I used to use is I used to trace and cut out a pattern from some sort of cardboard or paperboard, something thick. But you can see it's hard to get around the pattern with an X-Acto knife and make it look good. And after you use it so many times, the edges start to get frayed, the points aren't pointy anymore. So that was never a really good option. The new way is I cover the board with either painter's tape or masking tape, basically some sort of quick release tape that won't leave any sticky residue on your wood. Now I print out the pattern. So it's just on a regular piece of paper, it's on the computer, and you can print it out as many times as you want. Take a glue stick, just a regular school glue stick, put it on the back, and apply it to your board. You can also use spray glue, but you need an area that is dedicated for spraying down patterns. And you have to wait for it to dry between each pattern. Another thing I do when they're still on the computer is I change the color. So I no longer use black and white because the black blade or dark blade gets lost with the black pattern. So now I use any color but black, as light as possible. Anything that doesn't look like the blade. One other tip here is make sure you leave about a quarter inch gap between the edge of the pattern and the edge of the paper. Because you have a blower or some form of a dust removal system on your scroll saw and that tends to lift the pattern. We'll get into ways around that because no matter how well you do glue it down it'll still lift once in a while. And that all depends on the tape you use, the glue you use, and the environment that you're working with. Now like I said, on the back of this pattern, you want to use your glue stick. One problem I always ran into is where to use this. You can put it on the wood, and if you get all the way to the edge, you got a bunch of glue on your wood. I found a way around this. If you've ordered anything from any company, most likely you'll get some sort of a catalog. If you apply the glue here, and get all the way to the edges, cover everything on the inside, doesn't matter how much you go off the edge, your next pattern you can just turn the page. Now usually just rubbing over the pattern real good will give you a good hold. However, if you have one of these rollers, it does help. That applies your pressure evenly and spreads the glue underneath. Once you have your pattern on the wood, don't run straight to the drill press or the scroll saw. Give it some time to dry. If you have a depth gauge on your drill press, it's a good idea to set the depth before you start drilling. That'll save you some time in wondering if you're through the board or not. Okay, one more tip here for you. What happens when the glue decides it's not going to hold your pattern down anymore? My shop is extremely dry and I run into this all the time. The answer is simple. Just tape it down. Use some regular scotch tape and this will hold it down at least till you get past your spot. And if it doesn't, add a little more. Alright, that's 
my video. Hope it helped some of you. If it did, make sure you hit like, subscribe, and I hope to see you back next time. Mm-hmm.